guys, I have another video for you guys today. Today we are unboxing my fender flares. As you can see, my fender flares are pretty destroyed and I got some new ones in the mail. They took like two weeks to get here, but they're basically eBay fender flares. I'm gonna hurry and open them up and show you guys what they look like. These are what the uh, fender flares look like. Uh, comes in a pack of four, and as you can see, they're all like uh, basically just universally shaped, I guess. So they can see the whole car. All right, guys, we're gonna hurry and open up the uh, fender flares, see how good they actually look. If you guys wanna see real quick my uh, fender flares that are on here right now, as you can see what happened is, I broke them. Uh, I didn't have my bumper on before. So what happened is when the fender uh, flare was like coming down, as you could imagine, if this bumper wasn't here, if uh, you go at a high speed, it's gonna flap in the wind, you know, and then it hits the tire or brakes or something like that. So that's what happened. I broke one on accident. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry that I broke one and made my car look like trash, but we have the replacement ones and these ones are gonna be even better. Let me uh, pull them out completely. Jesus. Okay, guys, so after we take all of the uh, packaging off, you can see the shape of them. These ones are fiberglass as well. Uh, the ones I had before, these ones right here that are on the car, those are ABS plastic. And I liked the ABS plastic because uh, it seemed like pretty durable, you know? But uh, we're gonna try these fiberglass ones out and uh, see how they do. These were, they're straight from eBay, by the way. These fender flares, guys, are straight from eBay. They were about $120 for all four. Uh, that's pretty much it, it's way cheap. Hopefully uh, they'll look really good. I think they'll look better than the ones that are already on there. I'll also be getting uh, new bolts and uh, replacing those. Also, there will be an install video on this, exactly how I do it and uh, how to install them, everything like that. So stay tuned for the install video, guys, if you're interested. <laughs> All right, we got them separated. So as you can see, that's what the fender flare looks like. This one's a little bit tighter arc, which I like. I think it'll uh, make the wheel look pretty good. But uh, yeah, this is just kind of, oops, this is just kind of like a mock-up of how I'm gonna want it and everything. It's pretty flexible, so you can for sure move stuff out and everything like that. But stay tuned, guys. This is just an un unboxing video of these fender flares. Also a review. Uh, so far, they look really high quality. These ones were really good. The only reason why they broke and failed is because I broke them myself. So the flares themselves are really high quality and these ones look to be really good. I'm going to have to drill the holes out as you can see because there are no holes. So I'll have to drill out where I want my uh, bolts to be mounted. But uh, yeah, so that's the new plan guys. The fender flares will be installed on the car. It'll be one more thing that'll make the car look better. Then we just gotta get a new bumper, a new uh, grill piece right here and a new hood and the car will be back to normal. It'll be back to its awesome glory. Uh, in case you guys haven't seen, let me pop my hood real quick. This is my Mazda Speed 6. It has a big turbo upgrade. It's a Precision 5858 turbo. Uh, basically fully bolted after that with intake, exhaust, uh, just basic bolt on stuff like that. But basically right now guys, the only reason why the car isn't that fast is because it hasn't been tuned. And what happened is I broke the downpipe right here. It's really hard to see down, right down there guys, but uh, I actually snapped it right in half. And so, uh, 
So what happened is I snapped the downpipe right in half and I think it's because I didn't have a flex um, like pipe or flex joint, I guess, flex exhaust joint. Um, I didn't have one of those welded in. So I think what happened is uh, when I hit like a really small bump, it pushed the exhaust up and there was no uh, flex in the exhaust. So I think it just snapped it right in half, but it's also because I used a cheap welder when I welded the downpipe myself, which I'm pretty proud of because I welded it myself with the cheap welder, but I'm going to be getting my downpipe re-welded by a professional shop, as well as a few other little things to make sure I don't have any boost leaks in the car. But guys, the car will be back to its former glory. It's really close, just needs a few more things. If you guys like today's video, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.